all right guys this is Devan Gogoi technical analyst of Allies Blue so in this video I'll discuss about bank nifty now you can see this is a bank nifty and that is a daily chart and here I have seen most uh, trader are doing big mistake so I'll I'll show you this uh, this is a daily chart so most of the trader uh, by using this candlestick pattern they are start selling from this area right when uh, always you remember when appear candlestick pattern like uh, bearish or bullish doesn't matter so always focus on next day like previous day sorry uh, previous day candle so how it should look like you just see here Previous day we have seen hammer, next day we have seen inverted hammer. So you can say like pin bar. If you combine both of them, right, suppose uh, one candle are representing one day, right. So if you combine two candles, it will look like that, right. Here somewhere uh, open here, previous day, right, price push down and push up again close somewhere here like that it should look like and the next day open here little more came down and price push up higher and again reverse back so if combine both of them it is look like that right look like that so this is called pin bar or you can say like in this is on candle right so when they're appearing like that, we must wait to break lower point or higher point, right? Here we can see this was lower point and this is a higher point, right? So let me show you in a daily chart how it will look like. In a daily chart, you can see price are respecting moving average 100. All are exponential right here we have seen this is a hundred right just bounce from this hundred exponential moving average next the price are respecting hundred exponential moving average so if you want to see previous week candle so it is fully bullish candle right now we have to focus on this bullish candle where appearing now if you want to see by using previous higher and lower point it will be near resistance line why let me show you i just connected previous higher point and lower point have you seen price just push off here and reverse back we have seen a resistance line right after that you can see this was breakout point and price reverse back and bounce from this area so we have seen multiple rejection are there that means this line around 30,600 are respecting both side as a resistance as a support right both side respecting so that is why this is a uh, strong resistance and then now we have to focus here when they are approaching this resistance line uh, we have seen large momentum uh, bullish candle right momentum bullish candle are approaching in this area right so uh, when they are approaching uh, resistance line so it is uh, probability to break this resistance line remember criteria number one right so we have to wait uh, to break out this level right around 30,600 right and don't enter by uh, focusing only this candle so we must wait to break this resistance line right so let's check it in a daily time frame how it will look like that right now so let me zoom a little more now you can see this level let me uh, let me uh, exist a little more here i want to connect more touches point right more touches point why i use here 
so now we have seen this is a resistance price respect and reverse back again price push up toward this area and reverse back right and after breaking this here also we can see uh, price are rejecting in this area so after that price reverse back again price push up hit that uh, supporting line reverse back like that and here we have seen multiple rejection in this area here we have seen a rejection from this area so we confirm that this level around right now you can see exactly when i uh, uh, replace in a daily chart it is showing 30700 right 30700 is a strong resistance all right now where is our entry point or exit point so let me show you in a daily time frame when they are approaching here now uh, when they are approaching in this area we have seen this is a bullish candle now we can see here by just trying to reach that area so we must wait to break this level right and they do not enter when price are below in this resistance line because we have seen there was multiple rejection from this level all right so let's check it in a small time frame like four hour how it should look like that in a four hour chart we have seen price are uh, right now are uh, respecting moving average 20 have you seen one bounce back from moving average 20 right just a minute price just uh, creating higher high higher low and uh, now respecting 20 so if price retrace toward this moving average we can go for buy here right according to the bounce back trading strategy right or remember once they break this level if candle is close and open and close above this 30,700 so we will start breakout trading strategy right i think everybody knows about that one breakout trading strategy so we will place buy order here so we have seen two entry point one above this area that means after breaking this uh 200 exponential oh sorry uh, this resistance line and another when price will retrace toward this 20 exponential moving average so we have seen two uh, important point for our entry let's check in 15 minute time frame how it should look like in a 15 minute time frame you can see so let me show you in a four hour time frame so four hour time frame we have seen here somewhere uh, 200 oh sorry 20 exponential moving average are there now let's check it in a 15 minute so that means if price reverse back toward this uh, 100 200 exponential moving reverse that is our entry point right and then now you can see in a small time frame uh, for intraday trader you can see price is just respecting moving average 20 right have you seen oh, sorry uh 50 so you can see price retrace here bounce retrace bounce retrace bounce retrace bounce so if price is like that and a retrace so that is a entry point but strictly you place your asset here somewhere below this area all right and if you wanna see here uh if you wanna enter here for the buy why it is a wrong entry let me show you so i wanna draw a trend channel by connecting pbs higher points so here we have seen i just connected most touches point right now you can see this is a price channel here and the price are uh, respecting here so we just connected most touches point here here somewhere like that and now we can see exactly there is a resistance right when i connected lower point you can see this is our supporting line so if you want to trade for intraday you can see price is running in this range right so we must wait to retrace toward this area right and uh, similarly you can see moving average uh, 50 are respecting here here so when price will retrace so that is called anti-point right 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.